Obamacare exchanges will be opening up on the 1st of October. And joining me is Grace Marie Turner. She's the president of the Galen Institute. She's testified on health care issues before Congress on many occasions. Grace, welcome to the show. Colonel West, such a pleasure to be with you, sir. Well, thank you. Now, I'm just going to read this and, and let's go with it. This is a letter that was written by James Hoffa, Jr. to Leader Reed and Leader Pelosi. When you and the president sought our support for the Affordable Care Act, you pledged that if we like the health plans we have now, we could keep them. Sadly, that promise is under threat. The ACA will shatter not only our hard-earned benefits, but destroy the foundation of our 40-hour work week that is the backbone of the American middle class. And he says, this vision has come back to haunt us. Grace, what's going on? This is this crazy. I mean, the labor unions yeah. were absolutely bamboozled. They were told one simple thing. You know, you get a government-run health care in place, we're going to unionize and organize health care workers, and you're going to get millions more me members. What they didn't realize is they're also businesses and companies, and they're mm -hmm. subject to all of the mandates and the taxes and all of the restrictions in Obamacare, including that employers are required to provide expensive government-provided health care if they have more than 50 full-time workers. Many businesses are close enough to the margin that just paying the fines for not providing health insurance, forget providing the expensive health insurance, just paying two or $3,000 a year for the employees wipes out their profit margin. So they are putting employees on part-time, and that's where they're talking about the third. Obamacare redefines several decades of labor law in saying the, the full-time work week is no longer 40 hours, it's 30 hours. And if you don't, if you have employees that work more than 30 hours, you have to provide them health insurance. And they're saying, we can't afford that. We have to put these workers on part-time. Many of them move back to 25 hours a month just to give them some slack so that the companies don't go out of business with the health insurance or the fines, the costs that Obamacare imposes. Well, Grace, you know, the amazing thing is we've been talking about Syria and the unintended consequences there. <sighs> These are the unintended consequences of Nancy Pelosi saying we have to pass the bill in order to find out what's in the bill. Grace, thanks so much for joining us, and keep up the good work and sounding the alarm about the Affordable Care Act. Thank you very much, Colonel. Keep up your good work. I so I admire will. everything you do. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to come back from the break, and when we come back, we're going to have a live in-studio interview about a new book, Under Fire, the real story about Benghazi. Alan